Ladies and gentlemen, greetings and salutations to you. How are you? As always, oh my god, I can't wear my headphones. My name is Kluger, and today I welcome you, well, welcome you back, because I have covered this game before, to some more Disc Jam. Burn -a -burn -a -burn. Man, oh man, what a freaking game. I covered this the, probably the better part of a year ago when this entered like an early access alpha kind of phase, and now it's hit beta, um, pending full release in the hopefully near future, as far as I'm aware. It's going to be great times. Um, yeah, their servers recently went sort of 24-7, um, as it were. They were doing beta weekends for testing purposes and all that sort of jazz. Now they're full 100% online all the time, as far as I'm aware, once again. Uh, and it's really, really fun. And me being in Australia means I can now find Oceanic games a lot more easily. And I'm hoping this is like the competitive, um, slightly sportier edge that I can bring to this channel, which will also intrigue you guys um, because it's very kind of, I've got that arcadey vibe to it as well. Um, if anyone knows the old school arcade game Windjammers, this is kind of like the modern sexy spiritual successor to that. Uh, very similar uh, in terms of rules and all that sort of stuff, but it's nice and polished and awesome and cool. So I'm going to start finding a match while I'm rambling because it can sometimes take a little while. Hopefully we'll find something, wow, nice and quick. I don't even have to edit this bit out. This is amazing. <laughs> I don't think I'm covering anything important with my face cam down in this corner. No, I'm not. Totally fine. Except maybe chat. But here we go. I have no idea of the skill levels of these people. And I haven't even had a warm-up game up in this joint. Um, but, we'll see. People probably been getting pretty good at this game while I've been at work today. <laughs> this guy seems pretty good. Bezo up in here. Uh, we'll see what happens. We'll see. So I'm playing McKenna. He's my character of choice. Uh, she's like the speedy... Um, has lots of curves on the throws character. Dang, this guy good. And I'm getting a little bit of lag. But that's probably because I'm recording at the same time as I'm playing. Uh, hopefully that won't come up in the final recording. Oh, he left! What a chump! Oh, I'll have to find another match. I guess it was too good to be true. Look at me go! I'm earning the the J's, the in-game currency. Give me money. Yeah, very good. Oh, so annoying. So yeah, as you kind of saw, just real briefly, this game is kind of like... Um, Oh, it's kind of like air hockey with frisbees, but with people instead of the little panels and tennis, and it's all this kind of cool stuff. I mean, you just throw curving discs at one another, and it's really fun. And there's like power up moves, and you can like bump it with your shield and throw it up in the air. And there's power ups and craziness and curving, and it's so good. It's so good. And the developer, there's two on two as well. You can do two on two in private matches. Hopefully, that's going to be in the general queue as well moving forward. Uh, I don't know all the ins and outs of exactly what they're planning. Uh, but you can jump on their Discord server, uh, or check out their Steam forums, all that sort of stuff. There's information on there for all that sort of jazz. But man, I'm super psyched for this game, and I'm hoping you guys enjoy it, because I do want to cover it more on this channel. Um, and yeah, scratch that sort of pseudo-competitive, but still having fun, um, almost sport-esque kind of game. It's not role-playing or, you know, an action RPG or anything like that, but it's still really cool, and I really, really... This game already holds a special place in my heart, even though it's such early days. Um, doesn't look like we're going to find a match anytime soon. The servers are still a little bit sparse when it comes to Oceanic connections. So, um, magic cutaway jazz here, and I'll see you when we're in-game once again. Alright, looks like we've had some success finding a game. Hopefully... Yeah. Oh gosh. All right, we're good. Oh, look at my wall skimmy. Ho ho. Now I'm working on my um my spam meta, which if you if anyone here has played any Rocket League, you'll be familiar with spamming your opponents with nonsense from the predefined D-pad chat. Um, that's that's a very important part of the game, as you can imagine. Um, so I've been practicing a lot of that. Um, what was the come on guy? That's one of my favorites. Come on guy. Come on guy. Oh god. I just really how did I even do that? I Didn't I didn't actually mean to do that. That's like that shield bump up. I was telling you about see that dude just did it there, too I wasn't trying to do that. I may have pressed a a little bit early blame it on the lag of course ha 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 God I nearly got the power up look at that curvature though for reals so yeah, it's very much a game We got to predict the angles see where the curves go. You know, it's, it's a lot about that and the wacky thing with this game at first... Oh, come on! All these leaving chumps! I was going to comment on the depth perception and how it's really wacky to figure out um, at first 
uh, where the disc is headed. It's a lot of weirdness for new players that I've noticed playing against them, but also for myself as I've been learning the game. Um, yeah, the judging the angle as it curves off the wall or curves away from you, it's just weird, and you've got to figure out the right angles to cut things off. But man, this is it's very incomplete. We're not getting much good footage up in here. So, um, whoops, wrong thing. Um, no, we're doing it. We're looking for. Oh, we, we may have had success. It might be the. It might be the same guy. <laughs> we'll see. Like I said, not heaps of oceanic players, so um, you often stumble into the same dudes. No. Okay. Someone different. Oh God, who throws a good disc? Okay, that was. A, I got a little connection interrupted. I don't know if that was my end or his. Whoops. <laughs> but we shall see. Go for the little lob, so you got those lobs. Oh, they've got the short lob. Oh, I actually managed to catch it. Oh, and finish it down the line. Oh, baby. Yes, yes. Oh, God. Come on, stop doing that to me. Look at that curve. So you can... What? That was... Uh, that was weird. I thought I had that. This is... Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. You may or may not see this footage. It's a little bit choppy. Oh, wow. Some weird, like, teleportation going on with the disc right now. Maybe it's my internet connection, because classic. Uh, it's, it's, it's stabilizing a bit. You still get the idea of the game. This is good. This is fine. Oh, yeah. Oh, she getting some good throws. I say she because it's the McKenna skin, but it could be a boy. <laughs> I can't tell. Yeah, this person's got some skills, though. They get some nice curves on their throws. I can get some curves, too, though. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Saucy. Saucy. Come on. Ah. It's a game of subtlety when it comes to the curves. There's really subtle touches on the stick to get the um to get the curves you want. I'll try to the net rush here. Yes. Ooh. That net position is really important too, though, because you can get short lobbed real easy if you're not paying attention. At least I have found. Maybe this is particular to my play style. But see now I've got net position and I got I can mess them up with some quick throws and that's the set. <laughs> Tasty. All right, we go for full, through a full set. You got to see some stuff. Boom. Oh, all over this. All over this. And maybe after this, we'll have a quick look at the um the prize slot machine thingy. I can't remember. It's a prize. I think it's called the prize machine. We'll check in a sec. After this game, the games go really quick. That's what's really cool about the arcade sort of vibe in this game is that you can pick it up. You know, if you've got half an hour spare after dinner before you got to go to sleep or. Uh, you gotta go to work, or I don't know, whatever the case might be in your life situation. You can crank out a couple games in like 20 minutes, you know, just have a little bit of fun and be on your way, you know what I'm saying? Well, at least in theory. <laughs> at least in theory. The thing is, if you pick up this game and you enjoy it, it's got a real addictive quality. In a good way, I mean this in the best possible way. It's just so dang fun, it's hard to put back down once you picked it up. Oh, that curve. Oh, got the Oh, yeah, there we go. So that, that, when you get that pink trail, I don't know if I mentioned that. Um, that's when you throw in the um, disc with perfect timing. Um, which means it goes a little bit quicker through the air and you get tasty curves too. Oh, I got the drop shot. Is that my, oh, that's a set. Ooh, shut up, boom. So we should have enough to do the prize slot machine thing right, Bob, now. I will jump out of this game because there's a little bit of concerning lag business. Um, I'm not going to say rematch. I apologize, uh, sir. Because um, I know games are hard to find, but such is life. So yeah, the prize machine. Okay, so we change my mind before before we get check out the prize machine. Let's do one more game. That felt a little bit short. Felt a little bit on the short side. You want to get? I want you guys to get a little bit of a better vibe of the of the game and the flow. And I wanted to play more, so just leave me alone, okay? <laughs> Don't judge me. Hopefully, I can edit this. So uh, edit edit the video, so it's not all like weird and janky in retrospect. Um, but I think I'll be able to do a, do a bit of a sneak on it, on it and make it feel all normal and fine. Look at that slide meta. Oh, this game is- that was a really good throw. I'm gonna say unbelievable. I don't even know what that means, but whatever, it's fine. Get that curve on. Yeah, yeah, yeah! <laughs> nice. I exited some stuff on my desktop as well, just in case it was causing lag. Um, the game will probably look better for y'all than it would for me. I'm running it on medium settings just to make sure I get minimal lag during gameplay. Because it's a very, like... Not a twitchy game, but it's very reliant on like accurate stick movements and timing and all that sort of jazz. So you want to make sure you don't have too much lag. Um, and to that end, I'm running it on medium right now, but it goes up to high and ultra. Um, that was a really good rally. Uh, so it looks even sexier than what you're seeing. So don't go, don't think this is as nice as it gets. If you've got like dual 1080s in SLI in your PC, 
uh, in like a Core i7 beast mode, um, you'll be in a better shape than I am down the line. Didn't see it coming. Didn't see it. <laughs> Loud noises, okay. Look at that. Look at that. Oh, that was pretty bad, actually. Get a curvature. Oh, that short lob, though. No, it wasn't short enough. And now, look at this. Didn't see it coming. Oh, they got it, actually. Oh, I get that. Oof. Ah. I had ya. I'm juiced. If you get three perfects in a row, you get juiced, which means you got, like, ultra epic um, power on your perfect timings. And you go vicious, and you win a 22-point rally. <laughs> oh, I'm so dang addicted. Oh, this is so good. And so, yeah, you'll see that counter in the, like, on the net, as it were. That goes up um, as you and your opponent um, continue a rally. So the more disc you throw, the more value the, ra the rally gets. Um, like, the more points you earn for the uh, winner of the rally. You know what I'm trying to say. You get the idea. Um, so you can have real cra If you have a really crazy long rally and you're behind by a lot of points, one rally can really uh, throw, um, throw the balance of a set from one player to the other. It's really cool. So I, w I won 20 points from that rally, which really puts me far ahead in a first to 50 set, which is how the point system works per set. Nice. That curve just edging away. That was tasty. Tasty, tasty. Oh, oh, I, oh, I didn't actually want to bump that, but it worked out in the end. I tend to go for minimal um, bumps. I just try to go for good read of the disc and nice timing. As you can quite plainly see by my gameplay style. I had to slide for that one. I didn't. I try to avoid sliding too because that uh, eliminates your possibility of. I think I just won. Eliminates the possibility of getting a perfectly timed throw. So, um, if you can position your character just purely by running, um, that's better. How do you say GG in this? Um, I'll say no. Wait, come on. Where's the? Give me the. No, wait. No rematch. Oh, fooey. <laughs> well, you got two complete matches now. What the hey? I don't take very long, so. Um, I shouldn't be too worried. Why, why not? Why you, you weren't complaining about getting extra jam. Get a curve. So you're going to see three full matches. But they're so quick. Like, this is only three minutes of footage. It feels longer than it actually is. Juiced. Easy. Whatever. It's fine. <laughs> I, I, I like to think I'm not bad at this game. For the, I've only played about four hours so far. Uh, I'm getting a pretty good feel for it. That's pretty cheeky net rush. Yeah, get get on the back of the core fool. And now I get the net position. Oh. Get a curve. Oof. Wasn't quite fast enough to be dangerous. Yeah. Oh yeah. Bada boom. <laughs> Game's too thrilling. Somebody stop me. I'm surprised I'm actually able to comment. Commentate. What's the thing? Say words over the video at the same time <laughs> with a reasonable level of coherence? It's good times. Mate, I'm all over that lob. Tricking you with some shots down the middle, some just straight stuff. And then I'm gonna hit you. Just wait for it. Yep. Oh. Juiced. Easy. Oh! It's still juiced. Vicious. <laughs> oh, 66 zip. What in the world is up with that? <laughs> oh god, this game, yo. Oh, another little funny intricacy with this game is you have to be facing the right way when the disc comes at you. If it hits you in the back, um, your character falls over and it, you lose the point. It's pretty funny. Look at that wall skimming strat. Change it up. All over it. Oh, I just, that late curb just got me at the very end. Not cool, man. Oh, that serve meta. <laughs> oh, that was just pretty lucky, I think. We'll take it. You get 10 points for an ace, even though a rally starts at 5 points, if you ace it, you get 10. I hope that makes sense. I think I explained words good. I know all the rules of disc jam in a very short space of time. Not really. <laughs> I'm getting a good hang of it, though. What? That may have... Whatever. It's fine. And I'm hoping in future videos as well, I've got lots of friends who want to play this game. Some of the Rolfer Perception crew, uh, Rick and Steve, we were having a, a good mess around with this last night. So um, hopefully we can get into some funny good time shenanigans pretty soon. As a big group of fun stuff. Ooh, 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 ooh. It's getting saucy. Down the line, come on. Get look at that curve. Look, oh yeah, that was that's what I was talking about. The hit you in the head meta. <laughs> Character that goes down. And you can get some pretty funny ragdolls too. If you get like near a disc that hits the floor, uh, you like it explodes and you get all ragdoll and it's ugly and funny. And we win again! 
So yeah, the prize machine. Check it out. So you earn this in-game currency, these J's, whatever that might stand for. Jam points, I guess. I don't know. For some reason in my head I call them jewels. But you spend your cash, and it spits out a random thing. This is a kind of Rocket League-esque, um... Yeah, or modern Rocket League-esque in terms of the um, random prizes. So you can customize your character. As you can see, I've got a custom McKenna skin, the Heartland skin, which I actually quite like. It's got a cool vibe to it, but there's a whole bunch of them. Uh, hopefully there'll be even more down the track. I, there's these weird, like, super red glowy ones that are creepy as. Um, I, I like the more simple ones for, for McKenna. Um, so yeah, then there's Stanton as well, the big bulky guy on roids that throws a real hard disc. And then Gator's kind of the middleman. Um, he's a balance between McKenna and Stanton. Um, so a lot of options, a lot of cool stuff to do. You get all these different um, emblems and tags. And yeah, all, all that customized stuff that is so very addictive when it comes to these types of games. Um, and there you have it, ladies and gents. I'm going to keep it here. Let's keep the video a little bit shorter. You've seen a little bit of how the game flows, how it works. Um, and it's really, really fun. So I'll leave it there. Let me know if you want me to cover some more because I'm happy to do so. Undoubtedly. Make sure to leave likes and comments down below. And I'll see you again very, very, very soon. My name is Kluger. And you have a great day.